Let's actually see if we can track it. Move that there. It's the little vessels. Walk into a small dark room in the med center. You can see how we'd have a different perspective. That's actually a connecting vessel. And you can virtually walk into the body of someone else. This is one of the most exciting times in medicine. Exciting and groundbreaking, and it's all been developed at Methodist Hospital. They call this visualization center Plato's Cave named after that famous philosopher and a story about a better way to see things. Now we get a better visualization. And no one has seen the human body like this before. A 3D image, yes, you wear glasses, projected from a multi-touch table. You are looking at a basic CT scan image that's been made into a lifelike map of your body. See if there's any obstruction. There's actually a tissue layer there. Think about it. Before this, the only way to get an image of your inside was this black and white 2D slice of what ails you. But Dr. E. Brian Butler had an idea. Think of each CT image as if it were a slice of bread. But what if you took that, all that stack of slices and stacked them on top of each other? create a three-dimensional picture. He's saying just like you can stack slices of bread, you can stack can CT down. images. And with this technology, create these images. Images like a 3D tour right through your colon. There's a polyp right there. See, it's kind of like that old movie, Fantastic Voyage, where scientists were miniaturized. For you are going where no man or camera has ventured before. But this is real science and not fiction. It can be a great teaching tool to med students, but it also creates a more detailed roadmap for surgery. I've already been able to open the patient's body through this type of device and uh, sort of do what we call a pre-flight simulation, a surgical simulation. All of this is possible because Dr. Butler and others realize one thing. All of a sudden, graphics cards have gotten very, very fast. The graphic cards he's talking about are the same ones found in video games. Just like video game designers create virtual worlds, this system uses the same principles. So, gamers helped develop this system. So you're probably not going to be surprised when you find out what ended up in here. An Xbox controller. Why use a computer mouse when you could use something like this? So you can actually go inside the body. That is amazing. The interesting thing is, is when you start looking at new tools, you look at something outside of the box. In this case, the box is the Xbox. The control allows you to move the images 360 degrees. The game of life never seen before. Best way to remove a tumor. Plato's cave at Methodist Hospital. A new view of you. This is under your chest. For right? 39 Interactive, I'm Steve Simon.